before we get into this episode, I thought it'd be a good idea just to go and have a look at our our new home in Partizan Bardajov. Uh, it's obviously in Slovakia, so we'll we'll load up Google Maps now and have a look at uh, where we'll be staying for hopefully the next few years. Okay, here we go. I've loaded up Google Maps, and as you can see here, we uh, obviously we were at uh, PKNS in Malaysia, Selangor, so we're all the way over in this lovely, lovely part of the world. Absolutely living up in the sun on on a higher wage than we are now as well, but I had to get back to Europe. I was missing missing European football. So we've we've gone from over here to Malaysia all the way. We keep scrolling across, keep scrolling across to the lovely Slovakia in the I think quite a nice town actually. I'll uh, I've had a little a little sneak preview, but I'll let you guys judge, see what you think. But it's Bardajov located here in the north of Slovakia, like northeast, uh, just below Poland, and who we've got Ukraine to the east of us. So we're kind of in this little area of the world. Let's now let's zoom into Bardajov. So it's quite a small little town. Here we are. Look, it's a very very nice mountainous area with our little little sleepy town just located in the middle. Let's have a look. So we've got a nice little looks like a bit of a a square going on here. A few. Few nice bit of shops. Let's have a look at this. Look at this square. Let's get, let's get on, on the ground floor. Oh, look at this, boys. Look at the, very, very quaint, very quaint and cute bit of architecture going on here. I'm not sure what this is. Some, just a random building in the middle. But I'm liking this. You know, it's, it's very, very quirky. Oh, here we go. The sun's out as well now. Even better. Even better in the sun. Not sure how much sun this place sees, but look at it. Look at this cathedral or something. I'm, I don't know me, me church or cathedrals. What's the difference? But that looks like some great Slovakian architecture. Loving the different color buildings or shops. But yeah, I could see myself spending some time in here, just chilling out, going, going around, having a look at the different shops. Look at Probably stay out of that one, but oh yeah, look at look at this. These couple of bells. Not sure what the history is behind them. I I'm a big fan of this sort of architectural style in in Europe. There we go. You can't you can't go to Eastern Europe without a good concrete um, block of flats, can you? Let's get back to the good stuff, eh? Yeah, I'm. I'm enjoying it. It's it's nice. The this town town centre is bloody gorgeous, lads. Right. Okay. So we've had a little look at the at the town. Should we go? Should we go have a look at the? Let's go check out the stadium. Right here it is. I think that's definitely it. Yeah, Bardajov. So this is the stadium we'll be playing at. There's a few pitches there. Nice bit of facilities for a uh, for quite a small European town. Let's get um. Let's get ourselves on ground level and go check this out. Okay. Um, going the wrong way. <laughs> this is it's not quite as not quite as nice as I was uh, <laughs> I was expecting. So we've got let's have can we have a little look into the pitch? Oh yeah, okay. Obviously getting our latest deliveries of uh, steroids in there. Behind closed doors. This is very Eastern European, isn't it? Like, I think if we were going to picture what a Slovakian football stadium was going to look like in the second division, this would be it, wouldn't it? Quite a tall stand. I'm not, not too impressed with the colour scheme going on here. That light blue and red isn't really doing it for me. Badge is nice, though. I do like the badge. So that's, that's the stadium from the ground level. Car park's a bit, a bit old, isn't it? All looks a bit run down. Let's have a look at some pictures of it here. Maybe we can get better, a better view. Oh, <laughs> oh, the um, pitch isn't great, is it? I, Big Dave's on it. Big Dave's on it over there. But oh, that is not the best, is it? And what is this? We don't have horses on there, do we? Is that the, if that is the case, this can't be right, but if that is the case, no wonder the pitch is in absolute state. We've got horse shows on here. That can't be right. 
yeah, it's, it's the more I look into this, it's look, getting a bit more Eastern European, isn't it? No problems with that. But at first, I was thinking we'd hit the jackpot. We were in a lovely, lovely little place. And you know what? I'm for a for a team in the second division, Slovakia. It's it's not bad facilities, though, is it really? Have we got a three sixty view? Oh, there we go. There we go. Look at that. It's that's a good stand, that isn't it? If you can get on the top of there, it's a nice view. So we've got like a. It's not even like three tiers or what it's just one massive big tier with smaller little little ones around the outside and nothing on this side maybe potential to build there or if it's not already been built in in game some training facilities um yeah i i'm enjoying you know what it's growing on me i, I think i was getting a little bit too too ahead of myself and forgot where i actually was and what standard we we're managing at but you know what, to have a stadium like this and be a, a manager coming from nothing and the journeyman, I'm I'm quite happy with it. As long as Dave keeps keeps working hard and getting rid of these divots and goal mouth problems, then should be all right. We could play a little bit of football. Basically, that's Bardajov. That's where we are. It seems like a nice little little town in the in the mountains. Really happy to be the, be here. Um, my plan is for this one is to hopefully. Stay a little bit longer than my last two jobs. Obviously, I've got sacked on the first one. And the second one was Malaysia, which I wasn't really feeling too much. So I'm happy to get back into Europe. I want to take this team, get them promoted, and try and challenge the uh, the first division, maybe get into the Champions League, Europa Cup, something like that. So let's get onto the game today and see if we can start to potentially achieve those goals. Let's get into it. Right, we've had a look at where we're going to be living for the foreseeable future. Well, let's get down to the real business, the football side of things. This is where, this is what we're here to do. Get the results, take this team as far as we can and develop ourselves as a manager. And hopefully we can develop this, this team as well as we, we go along. Right, so into our game. So when we last were, um, last episode, I had that fairly comfortable, well, we say fairly comfortable. I got the goals in the second half to win it against rock bottom of the league. We are two wins in a row. I was thinking, okay, it's not going too badly. We then had Dubnica in the next game. As you see, we've lost 2-0 there. Where were they in the league? I pressed the stadium. Where were they in the league? So it's Dub Dubnica. They are, oh yeah. So they're in the relegation zone. And... That was when I kind of, a little bit of alarm bells were ringing. I was thinking, mm, something's not quite right there. And it kind of forced me into a formation change, which I will show you before we go into the next game, because I'm going to stick with that. But the formation change I used against Kamano here. And you'll look if Kamano are second in the league, flying, and we managed to pick up 3-0 win against them, which was an amazing result. Peter Kovac with the goal. Um... Who else scored? We had Brandao, Sl Slaninka. So Brandao got us a um, another goal there. So that was a great win. And I was thinking, right, this formation is looking good. I, I, I'll show you the kind of change I've made and go through it because I've changed quite a bit and I'll, I will go through that before the game. But we then played top of the league and they, I, I'm not going to count this one as kind of a tester on my formation because they have already... They already got playoffs after 25 games here. 60 points, only lost three all season. We lost 2-0 to them. It wasn't a terrible performance either. Then played Sport Pod, Pod Brevzovia. That sounds very, very Slovakian. Who are about the same level as us. So to get a draw against them, 0-0, fairly solid. Defence is looking a bit better. But we got a draw against them, which kind of is expected really about where we we are in the in the table us and Pob Brazovia I've, I've added a bit of flair to that that name but I think it suits them all right so today we are playing Sered 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 are just well they're not just above the relegation zone they are in places but points wise they're pretty safe I think but only three points behind us so still so tight look like we are um, three points off six. I would like to finish sixth and above would be nice. That, let's give ourselves a little target of sixth or above. Might be out of reach, might not be. But that's who we're playing today. 
I'll show you the tactics which I've mixed up a little bit. So it's pretty obvious straight away. We've removed the attacking midfielder and brought in a defensive midfielder. I was wanted that kind of you know in between your midfield and defence. I felt like there was a big space where other teams were picking the ball up. So I've stuck a man in there. Hopefully he'll break that up. And it's kind of working for us going forward as well, to be honest. Means Guerrero's lost his spot. He's now just going to be a bit of a sub player, which he probably probably always should have been, shouldn't he? With kind of his physicals. He might come on, might get a finish for us here or there. But yeah, he's 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 still gonna play a part in the uh in the team, hopefully. What another big change I've made is in goal. So we've brought in the more experienced keeper, um Kivos Pavliko. Oh, I've also put a little face back on. Oh, not not him. But a few of the players have been busy, yeah. Put a face back on. Hopefully you like that. I, I just find it a bit more interesting to see the faces. I'm, I kind of remember names through people's faces as well. So it helps me get to know the team. Hopefully it'll help you guys. But not having our Delugos, our under-21 player, means I have to, somewhere in this, the rest of the 10, bring in a, a Slovakian player under the age of 21, as with the league rules, which means that Kovac our young 18-year-old striker, who is on the rise, and he's not bad, not amazing. Like, there is a lot of weaknesses in his game. Like, a lot. And he doesn't really do much as from his, if we look at his stats, he's got one goal. And that was, I think, for me recently. But we have to bring, put a player in there. He's the one who's going to do it. It's meant Brandao's been pushed out to the wing. Belovkan out to the left wing, Kleck and Duga in centre mids, and we've brought in Habo, Habodaz, 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 who is our defensive midfielder, he basically is, there's not many, we haven't got many defensive midfielders, he's he's actually not too bad, tackling 12, got a bit of stamina, a bit, bit of worry, natural fitness, he's not, not too slow, he's in there just to do a job. Left back, Slaninka, I brought in recently. He's actually been doing all right back there. He's just a bit better going forward. Kazubuav, my, I, I'm a big fan of him, you know. I've, I know it's just because I've, probably because I've signed him. You always love the players which you sign more, don't you? Bartek at centre half with him. Dubois, as you'll, our right back, as you'll notice, is sporting a little Marseille kit in there because he is ex Marseille. Yeah, he never made an appearance um, and eventually has come to Slovakia which is quite a, quite a random move, but he's he's not bad. He doesn't seem to play as well as I think he, his attributes suggest. Maybe it's just because of his, he's got a few poor mentals, hasn't he? But yeah, so he's right back. And as, as you seen before, um, Ivos Pavliko is in goal. Right, I'll sort the subs out. Um, we'll get into the game and hopefully can get a victory. Just before we go into, into the game, I noticed that Dubois is actually not in a great condition for this game. So I'm going to leave him out and bring in, ooh, this is a tough one, Fabis. Fabis is, a, is the lad I got on loan. Who's, he's not, he plays better, I think, than he looks. He's just got good physicals. I think that gets him out of uh, out a lot of trouble. But he's in anyway, right back today. Hopefully, hopefully we can get a, a naughty result. Okay, here we go. Let's see if we can get the lads up for this one. Uh, we're going to use the old dodgy gamer, dodgy gamer skills. Didn't work for us. <laughs> Not quite the reaction I was after. But here we go. Don't you worry, by the way, if you've noticed who's not starting today. You've, uh, if you're a fan of the series, you'll know that Big Marco, Big Marco Paborski, is um, is on the bench today. He's. I feel like he's better as an impact. I tried him a few times starting and wasn't as good. Still did all right, but I like having Brandao in the sides and he's been pushed to right mid, which has unfortunately meant that Puspoki misses out. But he'll he'll play a part, don't you don't worry about that. Okay, these are playing it around all right. Okay. We're at home today, so I'm hoping we can get a good performance in. Oh, 
of intercepted, but forced them back here. Can we can we intercept this? Come on. Good header by Fabis. Right back in today. And here's Kovac, the young 18-year-old. Just turned 18. He's delivered. Brenda. Oh, what? <laughs> what? What? This guy, he'll go and miss on one-on-one, -on -one, but then he pulls that out. He's just your typical Brazilian at this level. Kovac did well. Left foot cross and oh, the technique on it. It was still rising like an arrow. Oh, that was that was sweet. That was a good goal. I think he likes it out of that right mid position. He's got a bit more space to do stuff like that in striker. He was, I felt like he was a bit like on his touch, and he was just a bit um, a bit isolated, and they were just kind of closing him down a lot. But when he's when he's out there, he's just got a bit more bit more space and time to to do more. Here he is now. Can he can he do? Oh, he's gone for it again. That was a terrible shot. We'll, we'll pretend that one was, was going on target. He, he should be following his left back up here, though. Look at that. He's, he's, he's lazy. He's, he's not going to last long in this team, I tell you that. But when he, when he pulls out the odd screamer like that, or the odd bit of class, he's probably going to do it again here. No. Need to stop. Need to stop digging him up. But yeah, he's a bit of a luxury player for us which most Brazilians are when you, you kind of manage at this level. Not too bad of a start. We've got a few tired legs out there, but so have they. They are struggling big time, actually. That striker, Valencia's, and the whole defence. Get to half time and we'll assess what's, what's going on. Oh. Commentator's curse. Get to half time. Mm, oh, okay. Definitely defending a lot better. Not a bad half. We weren't really, we didn't really do anything too miraculous or spectacular there. We were just a bit solid. I think that's going to be my plan for this kind of, just to get to the end of this season, just to keep my job and get me in a position where I can build for next season. But I just want to kind of play fairly solid, defend well and hopefully pick up results. And then next year I can, ooh, it's not a bad cross that. Next year I can try and build on that and bring in my own sort of style. And got more time to, uh, to work with the players. Playing all right here though. Knocking it about, oh, it's a good ball. Finish that, oh, it's, they've blocked it well. But good football. A little clap from me there. Randau with one of his terrible corners. I forgot to take him off. But I'm going to leave him on. I'm going to... Gets a chance to redeem himself. Okay, we've got some tired legs out there. The centre mids are not doing too well. Give it till 65 minutes. Try and hold on. Defensive midfielder. Ooh, this looks dangerous. We'll keep keeping them to long shots like that. We'll, we're happy with that. I don't mind. Don't mind them doing that. Not at all. Not one bit. Let's see. Ooh, bit tired. Actually, let's get it onto um onto the tactic screen because I want to see who can play in that defensive midfielder role. The other best one is Duga. I guess Duga can have a go there. And there's a deep line playmaker defend. Actually, no. I want him. I do want him just sitting in there and bring on Kerastiz. Kerastiz is not a bad player. Also central midfielder attack, but I'll probably just keep him on support with us being 1-0 being up. We don't need to, to go for this too much. Not not yet anyway. Uh, Kletch is probably the next one looking at to come off. He's on 66. Yeah, not really got another, another centre mid. Right, well, let's just do that for now. See what See what happens, see how long he can last in there, Kletch. He is on a six point as well. I don't want to bring him off when he's playing fairly well. I don't mind this, the lack of lack of chances going on. It's a bit of a boring one for you guys, I know. But we're just kind of trying to... Right, 
Just trying to scrape through these at the moment. Mm -hmm. I think it's time for Spokey, isn't it? The man. Go for a inverted winger or Brandau. Yeah, come on, Puspoki. Get us that second goal. Five minutes to go here. Ooh. Close the shot. This is not look this is not good. Okay. Can we counter? Duga. Ooh, he's not got legs. Oh, it's a good ball though. Out to Brandau. Come on. Finish that. Oh, we tried tried to curl it and bend it in the far corner, but he's not pulled it off, has he? Just before we we're gonna go go for our usual be a bit scabby. I've got one more sub to make as well. I'll make that soon. Spokey, here he is. Let's give it to Fabice. Fabice has done well at right back today. Don't want to jinx him, which I usually do. Uh, oh, it's his man. Okay, these these love a long shot. All right, let's get let's get Guerrero on. Just as a um, just a waste of a few minutes here at the end. We're into the stoppage time now. Come on, see it out. See it out. Oh, what's that, Kovac? Oh, okay. None of them flicks there, boy. Not when we're uh, we're winning in stoppage time. I know the. I know the people coming to watch this video want to see that sort of stuff, not the uh, the dull, boring football we're playing at the moment, but we just need to get through this season, okay. That's a good kick. Spokey. He's a battler. He's the main man. He's delivered to no one. Kovac. Oh. <laughs> Come on. See it out, boys. 30 seconds. Oh, oh it's... And if this goes in now, still not out. Oh, whoever number thirty-two is, did well there. We'll never know. Number thirty-two. Who is Do -do -do -do. Peter Kovac? Made up for um, his little flick earlier with that. it boys just get it clear now surely the ref's got a blow there surely yep there it is what what a sensational strike it was by Brandau seven minutes in and we just just kind of solid since then weren't we again because of Boav has got a seven really started well for us happy how he's settled in so far well uh a thoroughly professional job. That's what it was. That's what I'd call it. Professional job. Um, kind of needed that to to just get us get us into that top half or mid to top half. There we go. One nil. Uh, they had more shots. Same about possession. Very even game. But that first goal was was the most important thing. Really, whoever got that first goal, I think, was going to go on and win that one. But that leaves us at the end of this episode. Sitting in seventh, few games, few teams have got a game in hand, so it's not not set in stone that seventh. We are only three points off fifth, but only six points still off twelfth. Look at that! It's, I could finish anywhere here, couldn't I? And I'm the board want me to finish mid table, so mid table is currently just we're just one above mid table at eighth. There, it's achievable, but it's not it's not going to be. It's not going to be easy. And we've only got four games left now. So not many games. I'll go and play. I'm going to play. I might play all of them. The four depends on if there's anything good going on in the last game or if we've got like something to play for. I'll, I'll see how I feel at the time. But yeah, it's, it's a bit of a... If we're kind of just sitting in mid-table and we can't make much... Like we can't finish third or, or too far down or something. You know, it's just... I don't want to kind of come back for a nothing game when I want to keep the keep this 
the series moving, you know what I mean? But yeah, that's the end of this one anyway. And thank you guys as always for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this episode. But I'll see you next time.